everybody welcome back Ruben Texas all water fishing I have company today with Eric Lone Star yak fishing you can check him out description is below we came out to see what park this morning we're gonna see if we can hook up to some flatties so stay tuned and uh, wish me luck see if I get him again I lost him he was there he pulled it you saw him pull it right this had one he pulled he pulled it I uh I want to go turn my GoPro on and uh, start recording and he, and he got off so let's see now we got quite a few dolphins out here now so I'm hoping they, they push they push us push us up they're just going crazy eating on something so finally got a bite and I missed it What a loser. <laughs> Man, we cannot catch anything. All right, so we are gonna hit straight across the street. So we can catch some flounders. We were over there for about an hour, hour and a half, and uh, we couldn't catch nothing. Uh, I had one bite. Um, I think Eric, Eric might've had a rub or two from some mullet swimming. Saw some dolphins swimming around. They are tearing some stuff up. Saw, we saw one fish being caught over there. A uh, handful of guys over there weight fishing, so we're going to come over here and hopefully uh, try our luck. Alright, so we were heading to the other side to fish the ferry landing side of the park, if you will. And um, ran to another guy, a couple other guys, and they said it was dead over there. They wouldn't catch anything. So I'm going to head over to East Beach and fish along uh, near the jetty over there. Um, now, from my understanding, it's a pretty easy spot to fish, especially a day like today. The wind is completely calm, um, but you just have to watch out for holes like you do anytime you fish anywhere, or wait fish anywhere, rather. So, yeah, following Eric, we're going to head over there, so wish me luck, and, you know, hopefully catch me hooking up. All right, so this was not the plan, but you know what? I see birds, so I'm going this rough side over here, and uh, I try to try to cast. Uh, I don't think we'll be able to reach where the birds are, but we're gonna try hard. Oh, that's a healthy one. Woo! That's a nice trout right there. Out on that AM lure. Look at that trout. Nice. Got that AM in the corner. First cast. First cast over here, yeah, on this side. Yeah, you're fishing for trout. What I typically do is let it raise, rise and fall, rise and fall. A lot of times I hit it on the fall. They so can't let it get too much slack while it's falling down. You gotta try to keep your line a little tight. But you know, and just change up the cadence, change up um, twitch, twitch, pop, twitch, twitch, pop. Um, just swim it, let it fall down lower, give it like a two second count, three second count. Swim it higher, swim it lower, just change the water column, trying to see where they're at, where they're biting at. Here we go. Yep. It's in this moment, I think, Ruben, what the heck are you? thinking <laughs> Woo! Boat flip! <laughs> now you catch it. Now you got a over there. That was a that, that was that was meaty man. That was a meaty one. That was a nice one. Show you what I got it on right here. It's like a white, some pepper in it. 
Real lime green tail. It's a deadly Dudley, I believe. There you go. Get him, Eric. Get him, Eric. Get him, Eric. Oh, look at that professional now! <laughs> That's a nice trout right there. Let me see it turn over here. Look at that trout. Awesome. What did they would get it on? Caden lures. Caden. Don't sleep on Caden. Boy, you got the hot hand. Look at that right there. Dude, look in his mouth. He got shrimp down his throat. You see that? Yeah. Crazy. You see it? Hold it along. Speckler! Yeah, so if you're around here, bring some shrimp. Bring some shrimp. They're hitting on that shrimp out here. It's probably throwing white. So, don't have shrimp, so put some white on. Kind of match the, match the bait. And uh, it's been working so far, well, at least for Eric. All right, so that's going to do it for us today. You know, Galveston Island is such a beautiful, beautiful place. And this particular day, the weather was just gorgeous. It was just spot on. You couldn't hope for better conditions. However, the fish just weren't cooperating. They weren't there at Seawolf Park. We were there for an hour and a half. And we saw one fish, one flounder get pulled out of the water. So, like you saw, we made our way towards East Beach. If you've never been down there to East Beach, to that park down there, there's a small jetties uh, out there that you can fish. On good weather days, you can get out there and wait fish. But you have to take precautions anytime you're out there and you get in the water. Make sure there's no rip current or no rip tide warnings if you if you wade or fish the beachfront. Um, just be careful on those rocks. They can also be very slippery. And on the left side, if you're facing the jetties, it is always a good place to try to find a flounder or two. We fished that side. Unfortunately, we couldn't find any flounders there. So we hopped up on the rocks. We saw some birds working, and we did try to hook up to some, to some trout that were in the area. Eric hooked up to three great-looking trout. Myself, <laughs> well, you know, it's just another one of those funk soul brother moments that uh, I do have. They reoccur time and time again and I got a little too excited while trying to land that speck on the rock and um, yeah, he kind of just skipped off. Like I always say, sometimes fishing is about catching, sometimes it's about the learning experience, and sometimes it's about the company. On this particular day, it was about the learning experience, how not to land a fish on the rocks, and also about the company. Don't forget to check out Eric, Lone Star Yak Fishing. His link is below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification, let you know next time I upload a video. Don't forget you can follow us on social media. Links for all that information is below. Until next time, I hope you all catch me hooking up.